There are a few birds that receive a lot of notoriety for seemingly peculiar behavior, a couple of which I've discussed on this channel. But there is one that is perhaps lesser known that deserves recognition for its unique adaptations, and that is the black skimmer. There are only three types of skimmers in the world, the black skimmer, the Indian skimmer, and the African skimmer. You can find the black skimmer along the coasts of North, Central, and South America, and in the wetlands of Brazil and surrounding South American countries. The skimmer's appearance immediately makes you stop and stare. The contrast of its black back and white belly is striking. If you're wondering where its eyes are, you're not alone in that. They blend into the inky black background very well and are just above where the white and black meet. They have very long wings and are agile, graceful flyers. Its bill is probably the first thing to catch your attention though, brightly colored and with a remarkable underbite. The upper maxilla is much shorter than the lower mandible. When looking at them head on, you'll notice how incredibly thin the bill is. They have an unusual way of foraging. Fly just above the water with the mouth open and the lower bill slicing through the water like a knife. The trail it leaves in the water is really beautiful too. That sounds straightforward, but realize that they don't find fish by sight, but by touch. Whenever they need to fill their bellies, they embark on a game of probability. Skim the water with an open mouth and eventually, you'll bump into some food. When they feel something make contact, the bill snaps shut to catch it. And since they aren't dependent upon sight to find food, they often forage in the low light of dawn and dusk, or even at night. To further facilitate this process, they have large vertical pupils like that of a cat. If you look closely in these pictures, ignoring the reflections of beach, sun, or clouds, you'll notice the distinctive shape. Skimmers are the only birds in the world that have pupils like this. A slit-like pupil allows the iris to contract and expand dramatically, which seems fitting for their environment and foraging style. It helps protect the eye from bright reflections coming off of sand and water, and it can also expand to let in more light for darker conditions. This works to their advantage as the small fish they eat are often closer to the surface at night and waters may be calmer at that time too. Their calls sound more like a barking dog than what we might think would come out of a shoreline hugging bird. In 1936, biologist R. C. Murphy described the black skimmer as unworldly aerial beagles hot on the scent of aerial rabbits. They have also earned the nicknames Scissorbill, Shearwater, Sea Dog, and Cutwater. And they don't swim. At most, they may wade in shallow water, but they'll seldom be found floating along the water's surface like a gull. Instead, they can be found on land or in the air. They do have webbed feet, but they are rather small. When they need to rest, they simply lay down flat on the ground. Sometimes they tuck their heads into their back feathers, but other times they'll be splayed out on the sand. Nothing is wrong, and no, it isn't injured. It's just sleeping or loafing. It is thought that they do this to give their neck muscles a break from supporting their heavy bills, and maybe also to keep cool on a patch of sand. The population of black skimmers is in decline. And the reason? Us. Loss of habitat, people fishing, dogs off leash, vehicles on the beach, and people who want a vacation on the same beach that the birds are on greatly disturbs their ability to successfully nest and raise young. The best thing to do is to respect areas that are protected for nesting birds and give them lots of space and go somewhere else. Have you ever seen the black skimmer in action or the Indian or African skimmers? Feel free to leave a comment down below about what your experience was like. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.